king himself has rose to do their battle. The fighting men, they have pulled three score thousand. Five to one. Besides, they all are fresh. God's arm strike with us. Tis a fearful odd. Oh, that we now had here but one ten thousand of those men in England that do no work today. What's he that wishes so? My cousin Westmoreland? No, my fair cousin. If we are marked to die, we are enough to do our country loss. And if to live, the fewer men, the greater share of honor. God's will, I pray thee, wish not one man more. By Jove, I am not covetous for gold, nor care I who to feed upon my cost. It yearns me not if men my garments wear. Such outward things dwell not in my desires. But if it be a sin to covet honor, I am the most offending soul alive. No faith, my cuz, wish not a man from England. God's peace, I would not lose so great an honor as one man more, methinks, would share from me for the best hope I have. Oh, do not wish one more. Rather proclaim it, Westmoreland, through my host. That he which hath no stomach to this fight, let him depart. His passport shall be made and crowns for convoy put into his purse. We would not die in that man's company that fears his fellowship to die with us. This day is called the Feast of Crispin. He that outlives this day and comes safe home will stand a tiptoe when this day is named and rouse him at the name of Christian. He that shall live this day and see old age will yearly on the vigil feast his neighbors and say, Tomorrow... Is Saint Crispian. Then would he strip his sleeve and show his scars and say, These wounds I had on Crispin's day. Old men forget, yet all shall be forgot, but he'll remember with advantages what feats he did that day. Then shall our names, familiar in his mouth as household words, Harry the King, Bedford and Exeter, Warwick and Talbot, Salisbury and Gloucester, be in their flowing cups freshly remembered. This story shall the good man teach his son. And Crispin, Crispian shall ne'er go by from this day to the ending of the world. But we, in it, shall be remembered. We few, we happy few, we band of brothers. For he today that sheds his blood with me shall be my brother. Be he ne'er so vile, this day shall gentle his condition. And gentlemen in England, now abed, so think themselves a curse they were not here. And hold their manhoods cheap. Whilst any speaks that fought with us upon St. Crispin's Day! My sovereign lord! My sovereign lord, bestow yourself with speed. The French are bravely in their battle set and will with all expedience charge on us. All things are ready if our minds be so. Perish the man whose mind is backward now. Let us not wish more help from England, Gus. God's will, my liege, would you and I alone without more help could fight this royal battle. Why now thou hast unwished five thousand men which likes me better than to wish us one? You know your places. God be with you all. Once more I come to know of thee, King Harry, if for thy ransom thou wilt now compound before thy most assured overthrow. Good God. Why should they mock poor fellows thus? The man that once did sell the lion's skin while the beast lived was killed with hunting him. And many of our bodies shall no doubt find naked graves, upon the which I trust shall witness live in brass of this day's work. And those that leave their valiant bones in France, dying like men, though buried in your dunghills, they shall be famed 